Hi students, welcome to my office. Um, I like to do a video to you guys, just a little bit of um, intro, hello, some housekeeping guiding items, some general things to keep in mind um, as we go through the semester. So I hope you find this helpful. Um, and uh, just gonna start with the rundown. Um, so thanks for um, joining this semester in fashion writing. Um, I hope it meets your expectations, it challenges you, it opens up whole new areas of fashion writing and a new realm and ideas that you hadn't currently heard of or knew of or thought about before. Um, so make suggestions to me if there's anything that you feel like you um, need to learn, would like to learn, are curious about. Um, you can ask me via email is probably the best way um, or you can put a comment you know in the side of your homework assignment whenever you submit that um, but yeah let me know I want you to keep um, learning and being engaged and interested and challenged um, in everything that we're doing um, so just a few little things that I'd like to run down for you guys um, announcements I do do them pretty much on a weekly basis uh, just to kind of give you guys feedback on, on your assignments or things that we're working on or things that are coming up that may be LIM related, industry related, class related. Um, so please um, check the portal for those as well as your emails. Um, and again, my email address is just julia.dinardo, D-I-N-A-R-D-O, at limcollege.edu. Regarding emails, I basically stick to them as if they were office hours. So, you know, nine to five, nine to six, expect me to respond. Um, if you email, you know, at midnight when an assignment is due or, you know, any later than six or so on a weekday or at any point over the weekend, anticipate that I'll respond um, as soon as I am back, you know, so Monday through Friday, um, basic office hour stuff. So. Um, with the exception of, you know, our homework deadlines, we don't have homework every single week, which is great, <laughs> but, um, that means that the assignments that we do have, which are nine, I expect you guys to really narrow in on and, um, focus on your work and make sure you're putting out the most premium work that you can possibly do. Um, so I have high expectations for that. And I also have optional exercises for you guys. And these, you'll find there's five of those. Most of them come earlier in the semester and a few sprinkled through a little later. And they're purely optional. Um, they're not for, you know, um, submission for a grade or for extra credit or to make up for any missed work or late work. LIM's policy, as you guys probably know and is stated in the syllabus, is no late work is expected ever. Um, you know, there's really no exception to that. Um, and uh, with extra credit, it's not permitted at LIM either. So I have to adhere to these policies. I hope you guys don't try to breach that as well and be respectful of that. Uh, get your work done and in on time and um, keep me updated with things that are going on, you know, with you on a personal level. You know, if you um, feel like you didn't do your best work on an assignment because you had something going on or you want to talk to me about it, please keep in communication with me. You know, I want to know you guys, um, both as students, but also to, you know, understand your perspective and who you are and where you've come from. So don't hesitate to reach out and talk to me if there's anything further you want to discuss. Um, but again, no late work is accepted, uh, no extra credit granted. So optional assignments um, is really for your benefit and your enhancement in the weeks that they're in. Um, so don't consider it to necessarily be a week off from doing an assignment. Um, at the very minimum, just read the optional exercises. Just read them and think about them. You know, if you're not going to actually do them um, and create, a, you know, any work, Okay, it's your prerogative, um, but I want you guys to at least read them and think about them because sometimes I'll reference them in a lecture or reference them in a following week. Um, you know, just with the expectation that I'm hoping everyone is engaged in doing above and beyond what they need to do. But again, they're not mandatory. It's just for your personal enhancement and fulfillment um, in this course. 
And so um, we kind of start off slowly with our workload and then we accelerate. Um, and so I want you guys to keep in mind um, making a plan and organizing um, you know, your classes and your work based on that, as well as preparing for things like ordering your book. So that should be one of the first things that you do because we do have readings and some assignments that are based on things that you need to do with your book. Um, so please be sure to get that. Um, it's always easiest and cheapest to get it through Amazon. Uh, the bookstore should have them as well, but I definitely recommend, recommend you know, getting a used copy for like eight, nine, ten dollars. Um, and so, you know, when it's time for us to do things with readings from the book and assignments, um, no exceptions, everybody, on board with your book um, and uh, you know once we accelerate and we start the weekly assignments it's gonna be like boom 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 they're gonna be pretty consistent with having weekly assignments um, we don't really have a midterm but we do have quite a bit of a final in which you essentially create um, a digital portfolio of some of the works that we've learned how to do in a blog format and so with it being a blog format, you guys will get to customize it to your own suit, suiting needs and, and likes and preferences, um, but you'll also have requirements as far as the kind of content that needs to be in there. So one thing that we focus on is a critique piece. Um, we're going to get into this, obviously weeks from now, but just to start thinking about and maybe reading pieces that do fall under that, you know, one big general topic of a critique piece is a review. So you can look at beauty product reviews, new collection reviews as Fashion Week is right around the corner, movie reviews, all these kind of things to start thinking about what entails a good critique piece, what are the elements, how can I get there and cater it, you know, to my interest and things that I would want to write about. Um, so I guess thinking a little bit more about assignments, um, you guys get two attempts in the discussion board to submit your assignment. And so this isn't to, um, you know, think that like, oh, I'm going to work on it and then submit it and then submit an, a full one later. So everything you submit, I'm going to assume is 100% complete spell checked, edited, everything. The only reason why you get two attempts to submit the same document, the same assignment, is if it goes to Safe Assign, which is our plagiarism um, check software at LIM, and you get a bounce back saying that, you know, we've checked this and your paper is coming up extremely high for plagiarism. Um, so you will be able to, you know, make any changes or corrections that you need to. Or if you upload the document and it doesn't seem to upload correctly, that's another reason to have a second attempt. Everything as far as assignments goes needs to be tracked through Blackboard. They shouldn't be emailed to me. Um, and in Blackboard, all assignments really need to be uploaded as a Word document. Um, so it doesn't really check it if it's um, a JPEG or a PDF, those unacceptable formats. Um, so Word document is the preferred one, um, unless I specify something otherwise, but 99% of the time it will be a Word document. Um, and just make sure that you do your best at looking over everything to be at its 100% capacity before submitting any work. Now, the thing with Safe Assign is that our assignments are pretty much due Sundays, 11.59 p.m. That's the deal. But if you submit something at 11.58 p.m., you're not going to get a response within two seconds from SafeAssign saying we've scanned your document, here are the things that we're flagging. It sometimes takes up to a few hours. So plan ahead. Please try not to submit all your assignments, you know, Sunday right up against the deadline because it's really doing yourself a disservice. You're going to be tired, you're going to miss things, and you're not going to have that extra check and balance from Safe Assign. So please do your very best to try to um, give yourself plenty of time to get these things done, and then that way you can also try to enjoy your weekend a little bit. Um, as far as spell checking and everything goes with that, we are writing course. Um, and so I'm going to be extra nitpicky about those sort of things. So you're really going to make sure that you 
um, rely on yourself, um, perhaps also, you know, um, a spelling automation check and even a friend, a peer, or, you know, a parent to look over your assignments and check them for any sort of mistakes before submitting. Um, it's really important that you guys are at the level that you need to be um, merging towards a professional setting um, with your writing. And so we're going to be really checking for that and making corrections. And so I expect you guys to also do the same. If you're, you exhibit writing that really is not up to par with collegiate expectations um, or where you should be with this class, I'm going to require that you make an appointment with the LIM Writing Center. And it would really be no more than less than three sessions with them, or it would be um, you know going over your assignments with them before submitting. And this is something that will be required. So you'll hear from me if that's the case. Um, if not, just please continue to be diligent about checking, you know, checking over your documents for technical, mechanical errors, you know, thinking about spelling, your punctuation, um, all these kind of things. They should be perfect, not only in your assignment, but also in the way that you present yourself to everyone else in the class, i.e. in the discussion board. So be sure to, you know, make sure that um, you use commas, periods, you address whoever you're speaking to. Hi Michael, comma, I really loved your comment on part two. Um, make sure that when you're commenting on discussion board that you use references to what you're talking about, be it another thread, another post, or an ex you know external source that you link to. Um, drop in your links, embed your videos, do everything to make it so easy for your reader, so thorough. These are what things that LAM ex expects, they're what I expect to really make sure it's a enhanced, robust discussion for everyone involved. Um, so again, please be sure to um, make, you know, check over your discussion board posts for any errors before posting them. Um, so you guys post and then it's almost always you have to comment on at least two other people's posts as well each week. And we have discussion boards pretty much all the way up until the end. Um, at which point it gets exciting because you guys get to share your final works with everyone. So I think that's about it um, that I wanted to go over with you guys. Thanks so much for taking this course. Um, some of you guys have had before and some of my other courses that I teach here, fashion writing or fashion history and global attire, otherwise known as Fahaga. We're going to do a brief touch point on um, fashion history from the 20th century, as well as some fashion as art. So some of you guys who've had me in Fahaga, um, or per perhaps per Prof. Hele, because she created the content for the course, it may be a bit of a refresh for you, um, which I think is totally great because then you'll really own that content. I've also put in some optional alternative content that you can look at as well or instead of if you feel like you really really know all the stuff um, already in those videos which whenever you see my prompts for a discussion board it may lead you to revisit them anyway because let's face it Fahaga has a lot of content in it and it's hard to really um, memorize every single bit of everything that you learned. So. It's always good to have a little refresh of these things and uh, look forward to applying all the knowledge uh, going forward in this class. So thanks again, guys. I hope your first week goes really well with all your classes, and I look forward to seeing you in the discussion board. Bye.